I love Dangy because he's very like he's very short. That's that's all I really like about the guy. <laughs> no, don't use that. This is 72-year-old Chandra Bahadur Dangi, and at just 54.6 centimetres, he is now officially the world's shortest man. I was driving my 14 adopted kids that are from Africa, and we were driving to a shelter to feed some homeless people, and I remember hearing it over the news, and I went, you're kidding me, someone's broken the record, and he didn't just break the record, he smashed the record. So I knew that this man was special. Dangi was a special man, and you could say I had Dangi fever from the start. I've got dengue fever, everyone. Call the doctor. Get checked up yourself. You'll probably come down with it too. Dengue fever. It's got a ring dengue, to it. Dengue, 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 dengue. Yeah. Now, 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 now. Hit it again, hey, dengue, 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 dengue. Why would we not try and get the world's shortest man here? We had a meeting in at work, and Whipper had brought up the idea of getting a pizza so we ordered a pizza for him and then he came up with another idea um, of what are the odds of getting the shortest man in the world to Sydney. This was a dream and that's what I wanted to do and you know what Fitzy laughed at me. <laughs> it's exactly what he did because he said mate there's no way we'll be able to get the get the little fella here. Right? And Whip was like hey fat mess hey and I was like what Whipper and he was like Get Dangy over here, and I was like, oh god. And Tommy, the Overweight Russell brand looking producer, kept saying, mate, I've got it under control, I've got it under control. He's got a mate called Sid Lama, right? And Sid, he had to get a plane flight an hour from Kathmandu, a two hour jeep ride, and then another hour trek just to say to the little fella, hoping you get him on a good day, and then he's keen to get involved, do you want to come to Sydney? I didn't think he'd say yes. I was, I was certain that Dangy wouldn't want to come out here. Whether we were going to get him or not, we didn't know but it was a large task for a small reward, if you know what I mean. Yeah, it should be impossible because we're just waiting for a visa to come through and if it comes through, it should come through by next week. Yeah, it should have a fix it all works out, yeah. So on Sunday, the 6th of May, Dangy, should be arriving here in Sydney. Sid Lama, you are the bearer of very good news. When we made that phone call and Sid Lama, Dangy's mate, said, Dangy wants to come to Sydney, I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. At first I cried and then I went into shock. Uh, mainly because it will be a lot of work for me when Dangy gets here. Look, we just want to show him the the glamour of Australia, you know what I mean? But I reckon if you get him in a wetsuit and a little life jacket, get him out on the board, get the Bondi Rescue Boys down there, dengue fever surfing. Uh, Whipper keeps talking about wanting to take him surfing at Bondi Beach, uh, but, but um, the legal department shut that down. We want him to walk away going, wow, what a country, what amazing memories I have. Bridge climb. Who wouldn't want to go on the bridge climb? We're going to take him out to Aqua Golf at the Penrith Panthers, you know what I mean? Bloody hell. Carmen's at Miranda, put him on the dance floor, he'll end up bloody... Give him a jug of illusion, it'll probably be bigger than him, but he'll go home with a couple of birds there, show him a good time. So that's the kind of stuff that we want Dangy to experience. I want Dangy to give back, right? Show us how to milk a goat, Dangy. It would be, it'd be easy for him to milk a goat. He wouldn't even need a stool to sit down on. It'd be a walk-up start, wouldn't it? Walk up, straight to the side of the gate. There you go, the bucket's full, feed the whole village. God, dangy. He might never leave. <laughs> no, he has to leave. There's a visa, sort of, it's a condition on his visa that says he has to go after a week. So, yeah. If I could say anything to dangy, uh, dangy, how you going, mate? Fitzy here from Nova. Oh, sorry, not look down there. G'day, dangy, how are you, buddy? Dangy, can't wait to see you here, mate. Uh, pack the speedos, dangy. Bring your drum, Dangy. Bring your bloody good tones. Bring your vocal tones and hit the notes. We are very, very excited to have you here. And anything that you need, you got it. Bruno Mars CDs. Tickets to go see Nicki Minaj. Just get on the plane and be part of it, Dangy. I miss you already. I don't even know, I haven't even met you. I'm nervous about meeting you. How will I know which one you are when, you are, when I walk into the room? Oh, because you're the shorter one. Can't wait. Dangy, 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 Dangy.